Hello everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the treasure spawn that just came back out. Uh, well, it didn't just come back out, well this one actually did, this was uh, the 15 gem one, it's only 15 gems, was uh, a while ago, they kind of stopped doing it and now they're back with it, but this is a really really weak version of the 30 gem one. I like the first 15 and the second and maybe the third one they did, but this one right here is kind of dried out, so I'm going to have to just cut this short. This is going to be really, really quick, because if not, I'm not going to come out with this today. And let's get to this. Okay, so, the only thing you're really going to be getting, honestly, is the Athena stuff. Each time you spawn, you're going to need Athena stuff, but it's 30 cost, so it's really low in cost. So, it's not going to give it a lot of gear score, though. I will say, if you're just starting, like, you just, like, your brand spanking new, this, is, this would help gear score-wise. But this is stuff you're probably going to ditch quickly at 200 or 300k. Once you hit that type, like around that type of gear score, and you could use it for cosmetics possibly, but those are the only real reasons because the Athena stuff really isn't obtainable anywhere else because it's so outdated. I wish they had like kind of like throwback spawns so you could get this stuff, but they don't, so they just kind of like ditch the whole process and idea of the lower cost stuff. So, anyways, moving off from there, where you're really gonna get the stuff is the chest. There's no metal exchange. Each time you spawn, you're also getting a super XP quest key. Which is, if you see the special spot, it's kind of like that, except you're actually guaranteed a UR, you're guaranteed a chest, and an XP quest key. So it's a little better than the special spawn, super XP quest key type ordeal they got going. Um, but let's look at it for a second. Okay, so treasure box one, two, three, well, all three of them, they got three out of six of them, including stellar gods. So they're outdated. They're good to start off with because they do have still decent abilities, but uh, other than that, I, I wouldn't go for them. They're, they're completely outdated when it comes to guild battles. Um, player versus that gear score, they're outdated when it comes to gear score too, significantly. They do have good skills to start off with. If you don't have any even decent monsters, these will definitely do the trick, but other than that, I wouldn't really go for these. So if you're just starting off again, something I might consider, they already had, the, well, I wouldn't even consider them because they have special spawns where you guaranteed like a 33 cost, well, 34 cost monster now or higher. So let, let me uh, take that back. I wouldn't even go for these, honestly, unless you like the monster itself then by all means you can go for them, I can't really stop you. In the first place, I'm just recommending you what you should go for or not. Treasure Box 4 has the Stellar God weapons, outdated also, they have 35 cost versions, and even then I wouldn't really recommend the 35. The 35 cost versions actually also on top of it, not let alone have a significantly better gear score, they actually recover 5 costs like these. And even then we got 38 cost weapons coming out soon, so I'm not going to be too worried about this because if you worry about these versus like the 38 cost, you're losing a lot of gear score. And we got the Stellar God stuff. The Stellar God armors is the only thing I would even consider pursuiting for within this treasure spawn. The reason I'm saying that is because of the damage reduction skill they have. This is the only armor in the game that actually both in one skill massively reduces physical and magical damage taken and it's a constant effect during battle and this works against units of damage too. It will be a bit tad bit low on gear score, but the get, the skill is so exclusive, it's still worth getting if you already don't have it. At least for like stuff like possibly Coliseum or Guild Battles if you want to take unison damage. So yeah, that's really all that's really cooking for the special spawn. That's really the only reason I would do it. I actually clicked the ad, but anyways. So other than the Stellar God, I would stay away from it personally. The XP Super XP Quest Key isn't something you really need to work for unless you absolutely, perhaps say, really want to get XP super quick, then by all means you could do that, but other than that, stay away from the treasure spawn. So yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helped out. This is the Azraf, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.